Welcome back to Tiger Room. Hey, this is Mike, and I'm coming at you with a review of the X Trans Bots Ages. Now, this is going to be the reissue that's out right now. I got mine at Shows You. You can get yours there too. There'll be a link down below. But this is something like 86 bucks, and this figure has been climbing in value on the secondary market. But this is a tune version, and we're going to get right into it. We're going to compare it to the original. We're going to compare everything. Let's get right into checking out the box. Here is the box that it's coming in, and a little bit of artwork right there. The funny thing is I'm going to show you the original box because they don't actually match up. You know, I always would think, hey, we're just going to get the same exact box, same exact everything, but there's the original box. So making it slimmer, sleeker, it's not really that big of a deal that they just condensed it all down, but hey, the old one came with foam this one comes with some plastic and of course you know the booklets that book looks a lot smaller let's have a look at this guy in his alt mode now i'll admit i kind of left his back a little uh, loose that's not a design error i just don't want to have to wrestle it apart it does tab in really tight this is a nice looking alt mode it is more like a like a charcoal gray and the other one's closer to a black so this is a much lighter version for the tune look and the tune aesthetic. Looking around, we do have the blue windshields, which is one of the features that they said they're going to update on it, and so they did do that. Uh, when looking at the paint app right here, so on the first one, it had paint apps all over. This was in like four places, and it was really, really light, like very faint. But this is painted better, but it's only in one spot, which actually is... Cartoon accurate. We're gonna look at that here in a second. It says turbo four-wheel drive on it. It's got some chrome on the rims. Chrome right here. So it is a tune accurate, but it's not, it still has the chrome. So I, I like it when it's tune accurate and has chrome. It still looks like a real world vehicle. It doesn't really look like a cartoon vehicle. And as you can see from the bottom, that you have a lot of white parts. More of it, I wouldn't even say it's white, it's more of uh, I don't know, kind of a cream color. Let's see what he looks like next to an animation still. And you can see that it does look pretty tune accurate color wise, uh, design wise, everything about him, it looks pretty good. Here he is next to hot rod, so you can kind of see size, which is, see the thing is, is that this is probably a figure that a lot of people passed on thinking, you know, I'll wait for Fans Toys. Fans Toys isn't out yet. Fans Toys has no release date. All right, so let's go ahead and get into transforming this guy real quick. You can pop the back of it, which is so much easier because I left it. And then you want to pull these up and out. There we go. I guess you can just kind of wiggle it out. See, I don't want to break the tab, so I mean, I'm being real careful. I don't want to break these tabs. This does feel a lot more solid than the other version already, you know, just messing with it. But uh, go ahead and pull all this up and out of the way. We're gonna fold, well, split the legs. Right here. And then we're gonna need to fold the legs out. The side tab here needs to come up first. Okay, pull forward on this to help get that side tab out. There we go. Now, this will fold down like halfway and it's a tight ratchet. There it goes. And then from there, we're going to need to fold this out this way, so this way. And all that can come out to bring the leg down the rest of the way. Now, I've got to get this out here. And I did, 
I use one of my micro screwdrivers. Here's the thing, uh, you, if you use a micro screwdriver like this, you might scratch it up, but this is all internal. You're never going to see any of this stuff. So I guess scratching it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I mean, it still bothers me knowing I might scratch it. And then get this the rest of the way out. Pull that over. Okay, now we're going to fold this in, collapse this down, roll the wheel around it, and this is always tricky. There it goes. And then fold it right into place. There it is. And we can make sure you lift this back, this tab up all the way. It just wants to go down like where it belongs. Oh, fold this. That is tight still. Pull that down. This will come around. Tab in. Put it around. This feels so much more tight than the last one, the last version. Fold this toe out. There we go. It's great. So one leg's done. Let's do the second leg. So we need to get this piece loosened up so that we can fold the leg around. There we go. Take about halfway. I'm going to come around to the back so you can see what's going on. Fold this. This tab's in right here. So I lift up on this a bit when I'm pulling it out. And then we need to get this piece here out. That's a lot of fun. All right, now we're going to double hinge this down and then fold this wheel around and collapse it in. Move, the, move that foot out of the way. Collapse it in on itself. Hold this little tab here over, fill the gap, close that down, and then this piece folds all the way around. So legs pretty much done, unfold up the toe. There it goes. So we've got, got the legs. That's a nice feat. All right, so let's go ahead and work on this top part here. Let's go ahead and pull up on this unplug the tires which is going to help disconnect the arms so the arms can come out and then make sure the extra tabs that are in there it clears all of that there we go Pull it out like so. I want to make sure I'm not messing any tabs up. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to push this guy around here. And when you, when you do that, it just kind of folds in half like so. And then we are going to need to push these tires in head to come out. Clear that. All right, heads out. Head popped off. And we need to make the arm. Okay, pull these other pieces here out. Let's get them out of the way because they are kind of in the way right now. And then we need to build up the shoulders. Turn that arm around like so. Got that. Turn this arm around like so. Got that shoulder. Now pull down right here. And we're going to pull the hands out. And then flip around, open up that panel, tap that in. So we've pretty much got the hands good to go. And over here, 
Same thing. Pull the hands out. Flip out the panel. Close it all up. Get it all arranged. That tabbed in there. Not wanting to stay for some reasons. All right, so we've got it pretty much done. We got to work on this back part now. So with this, we're going to fold these tabs here out, these tabs in, and then we're going to make a box kind of like it was in alt mode. Tab that. There's a slot there. There's a tab there. It's all going to go together so we can hold a nice backpack. And so when you're tabbing this back part in, there's this, all this section right here that if you can see that there's like a sort of some grooves in there and you want to tab the bottom of that back part in there. And it sticks better in this mode, in this version, than it did in the original one. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side articulation test and the head goes way up due to transformation side to side. That's exactly the same on both of these guys, except everything is so much tighter on this guy, on the new one. It just feels so tight. And I'm not, I really didn't manipulate this guy a whole lot, so. All right, shoulder, shoulder range. It goes around and it's hard to get the 360 on it because of the clearance here. But it does, and it goes out about that far on this side. Almost can get the 360. Still kind of the same design flaw. Well, not flaw, but just design issue. And goes out to. It feels like I get a little higher on this one. You can see that. So, and that was an intention. They had said improved shoulders. That was something that they had said was an improvement. So you have the. Uh, Bicep articulation, elbow to a 90, which is the same here. And getting into, now getting into the hands, this is gonna be a big difference if you look at them. Uh, the hands are much more solid on the new version. Uh, I, I like that, you know, I, I don't really splay the hands and do them individually. I never had any trouble with the original's hands and they are more articulated and there's more you can do with it, more poses, but I always just have that fear I'm gonna knock a finger off. And then this one here just feels really solid. Uh, we do have the waist swivel, which would be the same on both. And we have the leg 90 front and back. And pretty much all the way down the legs is the same. 90 front and back. And then going on down, I do want to point out, like I don't know if you guys even know this about this guy, but he does have a double jointed knee. It's almost a triple jointed knee. It's, it's a lot of uh, joints in that knee. And toe tilt, well I guess your ankle rocker and a toe tilt doesn't really tilt. But yeah, pretty good articulation, pretty good looking bot. This is where things are really going to make a difference. Like which one looks better with which? And a lot of people talked about the whole cartoon aesthetic starting over here with these kind of characters from them. So, so with the before the plus line, we started going with a blue wind tinted windshield. And so that kind of stuff didn't have the blue windshield over here. But how's this going to look in your collection? Well, I think it fits in great with Takara. Let's go ahead and swap out, well, either one of them. I mean, just think about it, either one looks fine. You could decide which one you think looks better. With that, let's go ahead and grab some Carbots and do a Carbot comparison. And guess what? They're, they're all plus Carbots too. So you can kind of see the blue is close to the Prowl. This one's a little bit bright on Good old wheel jack, but fits in well with all of the plus figures. Well, do you want to see this guy with the plus figures? Let's do that. Okay, how about that? Does that look good? All right, now let's go ahead and do a comparison of him with my only 
hoist option, and that would be MMCs, which she's losing a sticker. Now, a translate to make a hoist is peon. I'm waiting for that to be reissued if it ever gets reissued because I hear that one's the best one. The MMC one isn't bad, but we'll get into that later date. Anyway, that's how they look. Let's go ahead and compare him next to USDA Prime, Optimus Prime, and guess what? They look good together. Well, what do you think? Do you think they look good together? So this is the extra Transbots reissue of Aegis, their take on Trailbreaker, and it has got a very tune aesthetic. He looks good, he looks the part, uh, it, it, he matches in with the Takara very well. They've tightened up a lot of things, they've allegedly fixed the shoulders, which it seems like they did. So everything on their list that they said they fixed, or is an attribute of this figure, really is there. I feel as though he is so much tighter. Things hold in place a bit better than the original version. Uh, I, I kind of like the silver chrome better than the white myself, but the white, the pearlescent white kind of is more tune accurate. Hey, if you want to get this one for yourself, you get it before it sells out because it's only like 86, 87 bucks at Show Z. Cheapest around, like, subscribe, Tadirim Hanger out.